I got my falconry license even before 1983. I was 12 years old when I took the federal exam to own birds of prey. And by God, I have literally had a hawk sitting on my fist. Ever since I was 12, I kind of feel naked without a hawk on my fist. Hey, Pine Martin's five and a half weeks old. I'm going to film set because at this age, they actually come out of a hole. So, here we go. This is making a Disney film. Take one, hold on. Because martins are an arboreal species of weasel. They are squirrel specialists. That's what they eat. They are exceedingly three, rare the in picture. the lower 48. They are completely tied to old growth timber. And where that old growth is cut down, of course, the mark disappears. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Then we can turn them loose and get them back. They're playing they have, up. Uh, they They're have, so they cute. They have us as martin or themselves as humans. And so they're not, they don't freak out when they see people, then we can, you know, exhibit them here and they're happy. Uh, you know, when you see an animal pacing back and forth and back and forth. No, that's not back, here. That's Get the picture, touch it. Wild, and they're scared to <laughs> we can run around yeah. as long as you've signed the release. Claim you've touched a pipe, Martin. There you go. They have a wonderful smell, too. Yes. Yeah, these guys are. Anyway, I gotta tell you how, how valuable. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. I'm gonna take it next level. It wants to go up in its lair. I'm gonna hold it up. If it bites me, don't put it on Facebook. <laughs> Karen, you're not supposed to go in there. Karen? Karen, get out of there! Karen! Karen? The policy is here, you do not go in uh, the exhibits. Sorry. Karen, Karen! <laughs> okay. It wants something in there. I'm going to let it go in there. All right. Betty. <laughs> you, be, you better be careful with that camera. One, two, it's pretty three. Dang <laughs> oh, yeah. Why would it? Why would it go after the spoon? Shiny like a, like a. You have the lens. Yes, it won't. It's not going to dive. Oh, she's definitely going to die. I mean, it's the perfect time. But yeah. No, no, no. Don't let him have it. Drop it down, Karen. I'm trying. April 12th, mother didn't have any milk. Now what are we going to do? Swimming like the Dickens yeah. now. Yeah. That yeah. $5 offer, what, what, there was some uh, <laughs> caveats. <laughs> caveats. <laughs> My first introduction to a wolf educator. Ely, Minnesota. Fella came out of the cabin. How you doing, sonny? Three fingers on his right hand. <laughs> Part of his ear gone. And then on this side of his mouth, there was a chunk missing. Scar tissue. Oh, no, oh, God. characteristics or you're not going to catch very many but this is actually a curse he, he, he runs free here uh, is that the end? get the picture get the picture this is disney yeah this lily is, do that mexican hat dance so it looks yeah, dance, dance around dance around that is a walt disney shot if there ever was one you can photoshop out that leash very nice Pine Martin's a relative of the Wolverine, too. Same yeah, thing. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It's June is almost on the corner. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the breeding season. Uh -oh. And they get their testosterone. Now. No! Oh, no, don't do it! Steve. Everything was fine for a moment. Oh, God. Let's go this way. Oh, no. This way. Let's get a fight in front of people. Now, I have done nine films on prairie dogs. I, uh, If you've seen a prairie dog film, I probably had something to do with it. And I've got a technician who builds cameras for me. 
And he said, I've got the perfect camera. You can put it down in a prairie dog burrow and see what actually goes on down there. It's made of titanium, cannot be destroyed. It has an umbilical and it has a fiber optic light source. You can shove it down. I'm so excited. I'm shoving this camera down. I'm going to get the actual happening. You know what the prairie dogs did? Hey, the first prairie dog saw that. She said, oh no, it was housed in titanium. She said, she saw that and she said, oh, I'm going to bury it. She buried it, and then I pulled it so that we could see again. There was the light again, dust and so forth, and she buried it again. I never got a single scene out of that camera. We were right back to these. Their name's Red Fox because 90% of them... A little lower charge. And they're found all over temperate zones of the world. Give him hope. All throughout Europe, all throughout Asia, all throughout North America. And 90% of them are red, but here at this lab... A little bit lower. No, no, charge. Two, three. Everybody join in now. Keep going. <laughs> there she is. Aquila there is her name. Is Miss America. Um, all right. Now, reindeer, uh, you know, they've been selectively bred all these thousands of years. So the religion that surrounds this animal, the culture that surrounds this animal, is unbelievable. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. To touch the living velvet right now is said to heal all disease. Uh, and in fact, it is highly prized. If you touch it now, you'll feel that it is hotter than the hubs of Hades. Because that velvet is full of blood nourishing the growth of those animals, which is going to be hard to pretty soon. All right, now this creature that you're going to meet right now, this is a reindeer calf, or you could call it a caribou. Uh, reindeer are the second only in domestication to your dog. They are the most domesticated animal on earth. They were domesticated in many thousands of years before horses, cows, Hi, you want to keep the bottle tilted all the way there? Good job. Hello, sweetheart. You want to get it? Anyone want to feed her? No. Whoa. Four-acre swamp in which she roams. And, uh, yeah. Karen, come on over here. No. I'm going to give you this carrot. Sure. Don't touch it. Just, okay. I'm going to have it in your teeth. And we're going to open this door and hopefully she'll come right up and take it. Go ahead and go right up and see if she'll take that carrot. I don't know if she'll do it. She'll might, she'll. <laughs> so we've got the wild kitchen with the lamb, the menu here. And there's two little gift shops as well, which you should definitely check out. Um, and all the proceeds from everything and anything that you buy in these goes to helping the upkeep of the place so they can continue this amazing educational mission. So go in, find things, and buy something. Take it home. Wow, this amazing postcard, photo cards of the animals here. Well, that was just an incredible first day in Haynes. I absolutely loved it. Uh, the town is beautiful, the scenery is beautiful, the people are beautiful, and uh, most of all, the Crochel Wildlife Park was absolutely wonderful. Uh, my heart is full, it was great. What they're doing there is just fantastic. Uh, Haynes is beautiful, come visit. See you later.